summer comes to an end, families across Southeast Michigan prepare for the back to school season. The transition often brings a mix of excitement and anxiety for both parents and children. Sandra, you're with an expert to give us tips on how to keep that anxiety. That is exactly right. You know what? Um, Kelly Hausman is here now. She is a professional counselor, and we are going to talk about anxiety. It is starting to ratchet up. You could feel it. I feel like when, when we turn the corner and we get into August, mm -hmm. it's like, here we go. Yep. So you brought some things here with you today, yes. first off. Um, we're going to get to that in a second. But first of all, what should we be thinking about right now as we kind of inch closer to the start of school? Sure. Just that school is coming up. Start maybe talking to your children about it, asking how they're feeling mentally and physically preparing them. And I brought a couple of things that can help ease some of that back to school worry and anxiety for kids of all ages. Okay. So show us a little bit about what, what you brought mm -hmm. with you here today and tell us, um, tell us all about it. Sure. So one of my favorite things is called a worry box. So a lot of times kids just spend all day ruminating, thinking about something. So what we do, we will take a worry, we'll write it down on a post-it note, and then this is like a little pirate box. So we'll put it in here, snap it shut, and say, okay, all of your worries, we wrote them down, we put them in this box, we will talk about this after school, we will talk about this another time. So they know that their worries aren't totally gone, we're going to address them, just maybe not while they're at school. So it's in a safe, locked up place and they can focus on other things. I absolutely love this idea. I mean, my two little guys are heading into second grade mm -hmm. and one of them in particular, I mean, just thinking back to first grade, yep. would have a lot of worries, yes. especially in the morning, right? It's yep. like we would wait for the school bus. So is this mm -hmm. something that you would do, like, would they bring this with them or would you kind of like keep it at home? Keep and it at home. Go over it at the end of the day. Yep, out of sight, out of mind. Again, we're not forgetting about your worries. They're still here. We're going to address them. Just you don't have to think about them at school. They're in this pirate chest. We will talk about it when you get home. And this works for adults too. You don't have to use a pirate chest, but any kind of worry, just kind of lock it up. We'll come back. To and it. kind of like validating. Okay, we know mm -hmm. that these are legitimate worries yes. and concerns, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about it, but later. Yep. yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Great idea. And what else did you bring? Also, we have some coloring books. This one is for teenagers, but kids of all ages. It can help to kind of just take your mind off things. Um, and this is interesting too. It's a guided meditation. This so, right here. Yes, this little guy. He lights up. This and, little Buddha. Yes. Uh, there's a program on here too that can teach kids how to do breathing exercises. So he'll say, breathe in for three, hold for three, breathe out for three. So this is really cool for teaching uh, guided breath and some uh, meditation exercises too. It's fun. Um, and these can just be, you know, they're fun, distracting, help with anxiety, take your mind off things. Uh, yeah, so different techniques. So anything to kind of like take your mind off mm -hmm. of it and kind of you can focus on that. Yep. So you don't have to kind of fo focus on on ratcheting right. up that stress and yep. anxiety. Yep. So as we kind of get closer and closer here to the start of school, what kinds of things should we be maybe putting in place mm -hmm. now at home? Yep. I know a lot of parents have already started talking about, okay, bedtime routines <sighs> yes. and slowly kind mm -hmm. of getting back to some more structure. Sure. Yeah, I think uh, one of the biggest things we can do, kids thrive on routine and structure. So yeah, writing a visual calendar out for them saying, okay, we're going to start waking up at 7 a.m. School is from this time. Then you have these activities. I love a calendar, a visual aid. Um, again, kids that know what's coming tend to worry a little bit less. Lots to talk about here in the coming yes. weeks as we uh, yes. head ready, you oh. know, get ready for back to school. Kelly, thank you so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate me. it.